Yo, what's going on YouTube? So the June here, I'm now back at it with another video. Now, as you guys see on the title of today's video, if you run a status effect type build or run a battery effect build at all, you know, anything, anything that deals with status effect, 100% you need this perk because it amplifies your status effect damage by a lot and it's really noticeable to be honest. So we're gonna get into this and we're gonna show you how everything works and everything. But before we get into the video, if you guys go to enjoy it, man, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well, so you don't miss a video and always be notified when I upload a video. And most importantly, most importantly, make sure you guys hit that like button. Now, as you guys know, we're getting closer and closer to 10K. Hashtag 10K in the comments so we can, uh, you know, just get that train going. Let's see if we can get it. So, um, yeah, uh, without further ado, man, without all that talking and stuff, let's get into the video. Now, you may be wondering, what is Lejeune talking about? What is he talking about with his perk to really increase my status damage by a lot? You see it right here, the Gauntlet of the Storm Exotic. I got this for an Tachyon Rift mission. You see it right here, it's called the Brazen Tachyon Surge. Now, you see here it says that you get a 29.3% chance hitting an enemy with a melee critical attack activates Tachyon Surge. And when Tachyon Surge is active, you get an increased damage of 50% for all status damage while it's active. And I think if I'm, if I can say this right on top of my head, uh, I'll show, it'll be shown in the showcase, but I think it's like 15 seconds, how long it lasts. And it's pretty amazing. It increases your status effect damage by a lot. And it just even adds on if you got the battery effect as well. So it's a, it's a lot of damage. I have to say it's a lot of, I promise you, I'm gonna showcase it. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show y'all. But as you know, there are four um, ver uh, varieties when it comes to this. You can get it for the melee, you get it for the range, uh, the defense and the heroic. Now for this one, it's, it's basically the same as this one. You see for the Jarvis barrier I got for this one, you know, just hitting a, uh, you know, people with a, a range critical attack activates Tachyon Surge. Now this one, if you evade, if you evade enemy attacks, you will get um, a chance to activate Tachyon Surge. And this one uh, for the Rorik set, if you defeat enemies, you'll be able to get a Tachyon Surge to active, I mean, to activate as well. So those are the ones that works. Now I would say, make i would say the characters to really use like status effect and you know the battery effect as well to be honest on characters is probably iron man hulk thor and black widow they really take advantage of it and it's real easy to proc with them now the reason i don't really say captain america and kamala i mean of course you can if you want to but it's very easy for those characters i just listed to take advantage and take you know full advantage of the status effect and you know the um the ex exploit damage when you combine the two um negative and positive um effects together and if you guys don't know i'm going you know i'm gonna let y'all know about the status effect uh you know where how everything works so there are three positives we have the plasma which i have equipped and we have um the pim part the pim ones which is uh positive as well and we have cosmic and those are the positives now for the negatives we have gamma uh plasma i mean not, not plasma cryo and um shock so that is a negative. So if you mix a negative and a positive together, that creates exploit damage. Basically you do like uh, increased damage when it comes to status effect. So it's really, really powerful. I will 100% recommend you use this because status effect really is the way to go when it comes to this. Now, some characters really don't need it, but um, I would highly recommend it since you have the tactic gun as well, which takes advantage of this where you get increased damage on status effect, you know, for um, take it doing increased status effect damage. So it's pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie to you. As I stated, you get these from the Tachyon Rift missions. So of course, right now they do rotate daily. So you get it from the Tachyon Rift missions. You can either or you can do the uh, the one that refreshes. Um, you know, it has a different mission every day, or you can do the regular one. It depends on what you really want to do, to be honest. So you can do that. But I have to say, I have to say it now. I think the Tachyon Rifts are bugs. I think they are bugs because for some odd reason. Um, you see the exotic I got for Iron Man, right? The first day it came, first day the Tachyon Rifts came out, I got an exotic for Hulk, the first the first try. And the second day, I got an exotic for Iron Man, the one you see right there. And I want to get a Tachyon Surge one for Thor as well, because Thor really benefits with this. And for some odd reason, ever since then, it's been like two weeks, I think now, like, like two weeks or close to two weeks since the Tachyon Rifts came out. And for some odd reason, I have not been getting no exotic to drop now of course they still do drop i can confirm they still do drop but you have to you know you run it multiple times and all that but it was pretty weird i was able to get it for the first time and then after that you know the first two times first try 
and after then it just it hasn't been dropping for me so it's it's pretty weird i think like the drop rate is affected or something i don't know but i just wanted to let y'all you know just to warn y'all so just letting y'all know but um yeah we finna get into the live demonstration i'm going to show you how powerful this tachyon surge buff is i'm going to show examples with without the tachyon surge buff i'm going to show it with the tachyon surge buff without the with a damage buff and you know getting buff from kamala and even with the uh the, the battery effect build when you get um the battery effect supercharged for iron man the damage buff all that together i'm going it's going it's, it's, it's a good damage i'm proud you i promise you bro but without all this talking man let's get into it Hey, y'all like that transition? Y'all like that? Y'all like that transition? Hey, y'all probably first seen this. I, you know, I had this on YouTube, but uh, on my Twitch. But yeah, you see it here. This is the clips I have with Abomination. Now, if you don't know uh, the one, this one, I did run it on Brutal. It's you know for the daily missions. It's like uh the the, the like 155. You know if you're doing the daily. So this is on Brutal. So I don't want you know yeah this is on Brutal. But you see it right here. You know it's just a regular fight for Abomination. Now you see it right there, the regular just a regular hit from my rockets is 13,779. Just off the flat. Just off the flat. It's just how much damage I do without you know having a tachyon surge buff active. Now you see it right here. I'm gonna skip a little bit because it takes a little minute to activate it. You see it right here. I'm just getting melee hits. You see it right there. I got tachyon surge buff to act to activate. And right there, you see it right there? A 19 a 19,204 so let me see the other one was 13 I can say it's about a like 5,000 and something a damage increase right there just from the tachyon surge buff and you see right there it's activating is it increases all status effect damage so it is pretty good I'm not even gonna lie to you see I got the little crit right there for the 34,000 but um yeah the next one we're gonna be showing you what it's like to have it with the tachyon surge buff with a damage boost tachyon surge and being supercharged and also have a, a, a kamala buff so i'm going to showcase that you know i'm going to showcase it live i'm going to show you how it really works this is me this you're going to see the struggles of me trying to get it to activate this is the struggles you're going to see it hold on let me go right here i think yeah it's right here um, right there. all right look now kamala i got real fortunate with this one i got real fortunate that kamala buffed me right here because you know i was trying to get damage because you know i have the reactive uh what's it called the reactive buff for iron man so i got to take damage to get a damage buff so you know i was kind of trying to get a damage buff from it but you see it right here i have the damage buff active i have the buff from kamala and i got tachyon surge and i got supercharged from kamala when she does a healing spirit i automatically go to overcharge so this is how much damage i do without the battery effect it's without the battery effect. This is how much damage I do with just a rocket. Now that was a crit. Now you see it right there, 38,000. 38,000. Now with the Tachyon Surge buff active, I did 19,000. So I have the Tachyon Surge buff, the damage boost, and I'm super in supercharged, and I got the Kamala buff. And that's how much damage I'm doing on Brutal with just one rocket. So that's pretty dope. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So let me go ahead right here and show you, show you what the... I mean, look, I, I need to let y'all know this now. With this, I had the well, the damage buff did run out on me, but I still had the tachyon surge and I was supercharged. And then this is what it looks like when I have the stats effect on it. So look at this. It's, it's crazy. Look at this. Y'all see that, right? 100k. 100k right there 123k with uh the tachyon surge buff active and the supercharge with the size effect so that's with the that well that's with the battery build so that is dope just hitting 100k right there and then i also did activate the uh the thing for uh the tactic gun so that increases i think it increases damage if i'm correct um let me read it real quick i think it does increase damage I'm, I need to make sure I'm 100% right because I do not want to let you guys, you know, just really just do something wrong. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I mean, it, it depends. It depends. It depends. But you see it right there? It was pretty dope. I have a lot to you, right? It's pretty good. But let me show you what it looks like without the status effect. Let me see if I had it. I'm pretty sure I got this right here. Oh, no, yeah, it's right here. I'm trying to get it for y'all. It's right. It's in this clip. Uh, 
Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Well, we're finna get to the next one, because the next one where it showcases it, I have this this clip right here. Now, look at this. Let me go to it. Go to the perfect one, because it was in this. Okay, I had to get the damage buff. Yeah, okay, yeah, there. Now, this is where it's a big damage at. This is where the big number come from. This is where, it, uh, this is really dope right here. Oh, I froze. Oh, work. There you go. Just waiting for that damage buff to proc. Come on. Okay, there you go. Now I'm supercharged. Now right there, look. I got the Tachyon Surge right here. I got damage buff and I got supercharged. I'm letting y'all know now, prepare for this damage number that you finna see. It's crazy. I'm promise you. Watch this, watch this. Disgusting. It's disgusting. It do so much damage. Y'all see that, right? 200k. 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 With one rocket. 200k. Double prick. Double proc. Look how look how fast his health went down. Look at that. Look how fast his health went down. And y'all say you can't you can't sit up and tell me that Tekion Surge is not powerful. That is stupid powerful. A 50% damage buff. I got a damage buff active already. I got Tekion Surge active. I got the damage buff active. I got supercharged, which increased my damage as well. And with the battery effect applied with that as well, that's 200k off the rip. And I didn't even I'm not even buff from Kamala, Thor. Just imagine if I was, I probably could have hit 300k with some rockets with just one rocket it's stupid bro it's so good i promise you it's really good so i would highly 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 recommend y'all get this bro i promise make sure you get the one that works well for you so i'm gonna you know as i stated before we're gonna go back we're gonna go back we're gonna go back so i will say make sure make sure you get something that's very easy to proc with the tachyon surge you can either get the one where you can do melee critical hits or you can do range critical hits or you could you know i mean if it depends on your play style if you got if you want to do it where you could do perfect evades and then you get the tachyon surge but i would say get you know rock these three um because this one is very easy you just defeat enemies and you get a tachyon surge but these two are more efficient since it's very easy to proc you know just with melee crits and um just range critical uh hits as well so those two are very you know needed to be honest but um yeah that is in today's video let me know if you have tachyon surge already let me know in the comments how what's the highest damage number that you was able to do i want to know in the comments i really want to see you know see the see some things that you know i haven't seen before you know i've seen people do some high damage numbers with the rockets for iron man black widow thor i've seen it all so i want to see it for myself uh let me know in the comments what the highest number y'all hit before ever you know just let me know but um yeah that's the end of today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it as i enjoyed making it man it was pretty lit i really like i really like this video man it was pretty, i had fun making it but um yeah uh before we head out if you guys are not make sure you guys subscribe to the channel don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video and make sure you guys hit that notification i just said that already <laughs> As I stated before, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on post notifications. So you don't miss a video and always be notified when I upload a video. And most importantly, make sure you guys hit that uh, that like button. Now, as you guys know, I do have a Discord. It's called Avengers Squad. We go over everything dealing with Mars Avengers. So if you guys want to join, when not to join, all you gotta do is click the link below. And as, as you guys know, I do stream on Twitch. So Twitch is the main place I stream at. So if you guys want to come out, you know, just support and just chill. You know, just watch me play Avengers. You know, just talk about things. You know, just just things in general. If you guys want to come out, the link is below. And also, you know, let, most importantly, I do have memberships on the channel. So if you guys want to know more information about that, the link is below. But I have to give a quick shout out to my elite members and my rookie members. Shout out to y'all for being members on the memberships on the channel. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, the post that I have that's supposed to be coming in, that's supposed to be on this wall, I'm still waiting for it. I don't know what's up with the, deli with the delivery or something. It's not. It's. I'm still waiting for it. It's, they still didn't make it there yet. So I will have y'all names up here uh for the members i will have your name on my wall so you guys you know just always be on my walls you know as a token you know just to show my appreciation for y'all but um yeah uh that's the end of today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and yeah 
have a look have a good day peace